Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for Thursday, March 14, 2013. Well, a continuation of the trend to the upside today, a candle has made a higher high and a higher low. Previous day's trading we had in bar chart terms an inside day, and uh, that did suggest that there was uh, potential for a change of trend to the downside, and it was a type of uh, tweezers top pattern that did need confirmation, but with the market failing to uh, test down below the low of that candle, um, we didn't have confirmation of a change of trend, and the market traded in a very bullish manner up above the resistance offered around the high of those two candles for the day around 133. A lot of bullishness in this market, a very large white body candle. The market has done a lot of work for today's trading and closed in a bullish manner up above the important 103.77 level. Uh, very strong resistance in the recent past and the market sold off in a major wave the last time that it attempted to rally to that area. So uh, very strong resistance and we now have a, a bullish close uh, up above there. The only problem is the market has interacted with the 104 level and uh, this uh, resistance uh, will act as a zone extending from 103.77 up to 104. We can see here that that area acted as a zone as support previously. So uh, uh, not a good likelihood of the market trading up through that 104 level. We also have the cloud trading just above there too. So the market will need to be very, very bullish and maintain this bullish momentum that we saw today. That won't be difficult for the market to maintain. Uh, a lot of bullishness all, all at once. Um, does suggest that the market needs to take a bit of a rest and that's what we're seeing at the moment as this candle is developing. We're starting to see some profit taking and the buyers are really not as active in the market for today's trading early as they were for the previous day. That doesn't suggest that we won't see that but at the moment there's no evidence to suggest that the buyers will continue uh, the upside momentum that they built um, just a little bit too much all of a sudden. Now it doesn't suggest that the uh, sellers will take control of this market either. If they do then we do have uh, some support uh, from these uh, swing highs down around the 103.40 level, minor highs, and in a zone extending down to there from the 103.77 area. Below there, 103 is very, very solid support. So a trading day today where the buyers have closed with control of this market, very, very strong control. They've been in control for almost all of the day until the market interacted with the 104 level where the buyers lost some commitment only in a minor way. Uh, but throughout the day they uh, showed a very, very strong commitment to taking this market higher and certainly no uh, sign of uh, strength from the sellers. Now in terms of the Fibonacci extension, an important uh, juncture here for the market. We're examining the first time frame uh, uptrend in its relationship to the previous time the market was trending up and here we see interaction with the 100% level and price rejection from there. Very important trading here. There is potential for the market to come off this level combined with the solid resistance uh, around that level and uh, with the cloud close by it wouldn't surprise that the market comes off. But as I've mentioned in, in terms of the short term dynamics for today's trading as it's uh, closed uh, there isn't any sign of strength from the sellers. A slightly different picture with the Fibonacci retracement. We're in an expansive mode of that. We've traded through the 100% in a bullish manner, and now we've traded through the 161.8% in a strongly bullish manner. This suggests that the market has potential to trade up to 104.58, and that area is now uh, just above the cloud. So uh, if we do see continued bullish activity and uh, a test up above the cloud, then uh, that is a, a target that we do need to watch. Uh, the market will need to maintain that solid momentum that we saw for today's trading and at the moment it doesn't look as though it will do for today's trading. It doesn't mean though that the bulls won't come back into this market and trade the market higher. Now in terms of Ichimoku, uh, mixed signals with our Ichimoku indicators. The market is uh, trading down below the cloud, so we have a bearish market overall in big picture terms, so a bearish bias, but we are now trading very close to the cloud, so the strength of that bearishness is not quite as strong as it was when the market was trending down away from the cloud here. The market is, however, trading up above both the Kijun Sen and the Tengen Sen, and that represents a very strong change of sentiment in this market. Bullishness in the medium and fast term time frames and let's look at the Kijun Sen here quite some time since the market was trading up above the Kijun Sen so a big change of sentiment this suggests that the market may have built some good solid momentum to trade up above the cloud and perhaps even test up to higher levels we do need to be patient and watch how the market behaves just looking at the uh, 
current candle as it's, as it's developing. There is potential for a crossover of the Tengen Sen above the Kijun Sen, which is a buy signal with Ichimoku charts. It is only a weak signal because it occurs uh, below the cloud, and it's weak because obviously the market will interact with the cloud. So, what's the potential gain for us uh, if the market does find resistance at the cloud? So, not a very strong signal. Um, as the market closed yesterday, however, those two indicators were at the same level, so the crossover hasn't actually occurred and won't occur until we have this current day's trading finalised. So we will need to look at that at that tomorrow, but uh, really not terribly significant. More importantly, however, if we look at the angle of the Tenkan Sen, that is pointing up very, very sharply and it's reflecting this solid upside momentum that we've seen in this first time frame. A lot of white body candles and very large white body candles suggest that the buyers have strong upside momentum and this may indicate that the, the buyers may have enough momentum to trade the market up through the uh, cloud and uh, change the overall bias in this market. Now if this market does come off however potentially uh, solid uh, support at the Tenkan Sen and that tends to be the first area of support when we have uh, very solid upside momentum in a market so we do need to watch there and that's around that 103 level strengthening the 103 area but um, obviously uh, a market that's giving us some mixed signals uh, the market will be interacting with the cloud very soon if it does rally and uh, interacted with the cloud and area near the cloud today and strong resistance um, a chance of the market coming off uh, but if we do see continued bullishness and a break up above the cloud then 104.50 and then above even trading up to 105 may be possible over the next week or so.